Now that last cut was a bit of a mistake because I intend on laminating some uh, bent beams for the roof and it would have been much easier to make those first and then let those determine the shape of the cut I just made. Doing bent laminations often means you'll get some spring back. Luckily there's a simple equation that helps you calculate what spring back to expect while doing a glue up like this. Now the arc I'm going for is 70 millimeters high. I'm using five plies, so that's five times five, which is 25. So that's 70 divided by 25, that's 2.8. So 2.8 millimeters will be my spring back. So say we make it 73 millimeters high instead to compensate. Well, that make 73 divided by 25 2.92 and that's close enough to 3 to me so uh, that's what I'm gonna try I'm gonna make it 73 millimeters high and I, I'm hoping I'm gonna end up with a perfect 70 as you can see there's only a small small difference between these and it really doesn't matter in this case but Sometimes it's just fun to try a theory like this out. I was a bit worried about the three beams matching the arc of the aft wall. I put them all back here to compare. And I would say that's that's pretty perfect. I don't know if you can see it, but they are just a bit proud of this radius. But I think that's that's great because they will probably set a bit 
over time. So I'm thinking we're happy. Well, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe. And if you didn't, do it anyway. Come on, why not? Relax. Till next time, have a good day.